Hey, this is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing another egg video for you guys. We're going to be opening up a total of 20 items, including 5 Play-Doh surprise eggs and 15 blind boxes. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up a blind box that's right here in the front row. And I want to start with the Bear Brick Series number 22. This is the one with Lightning McQueen, which is what we're trying to get. And then we have the Green Lantern right there. Now, in the last one that we opened up, we got the Prisoner Bear, which is sitting back here. And some of you guys said his head was all backwards. So I don't know which way it's supposed to go. It looks okay both ways. But let's go ahead and get this opened up. Let's see who we get. I'd be so excited if we got Lightning McQueen. I just dropped the card here. And it says, Fine Malt Lyrics. So that's what the bear says. And it says on the back, House of Pain as well, number 92. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package. And there he is. Pretty simple bear. That's probably one of the most boring bear bricks that I've seen so far. And here's the card that it comes with, House of Pain once again. So, you know, that's a little disappointing way to start the video off. Let's go ahead and do the the cup of tea now this one's got to be good I, these are always good so this one should be should be better and let's see there's our tear strip and wow two in, a, two in a row we got some duds because we've already gotten that one here's a look at our two tees but we had already gotten this one that was the very first one that we got so let's set him down and we're just gonna keep going. So here's the Finders Keepers. This is Joe Ledbetter by Kid Robot. And I really, I got my fingers crossed that we'll get a good one. So, so wow, this one's Dara and we've also gotten this one in the past a long time ago. So we're kind of on a roll here for, for bad ones. We, you know what, let's do the Kingdom Hearts because this one, I know, I know this is gonna be a good one. So here's gonna be some of the figures that you can get on the back. We got this one last time and there's Ariel. And let's go ahead and get this opened up and see who we get. And did we get Ariel? I think we did let's see no we did not we got Sora <laughs> so we got Sora so I'll get it put together real quick and we'll check it out so here it is all put together and this thing looks great in fact I like this so much I might actually put this on the desk in my room because I really like the way this one looks Sora's standing out on the beach there's this tropical palm tree behind them it's just a really nice little display so even though we didn't get Ariel we did get a pretty nice one and what I'm going to do for you guys, since we got another one of the duplicates to start this video off, we're going to open, we're going to open another one. Because I actually, I, I thought that I had another one of these, so I went digging through a box and found it. So we're going to do one more and hopefully we get a new one this time. And we did. So this one, here's a, now I'm not sure if that's Japanese or Chinese letters. I guess one of, one of you guys can comment and tell me. If I had to guess, I think it's Japanese, but... I don't read, write, or speak either language, but here's a look at the one that we got is, where's he at? There he is. I guess we got the Emperor, and he's a 1 in 16. So there he is. That's a pretty cool one. I like that one. We'll set that down, and let's open up the Vinylmation Robots. Now, this is the one last week that I meant to put in the video for you guys, and we ended up opening two of that other series. I was wanting to do this one and that other one that we did, and for some reason I just grabbed two of that one, but for this one, who did we get? We got this one, so that doesn't really look like anybody that I'm familiar with. I'm looking for him on the box, right there he is, he's in the corner. That's kind of a, uh, hmm, I don't know, that, that one's okay. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's really kind of mediocre, and here's the little card that it comes with, and it says, Artist Enrique Pita. That's, that's my guess on how to say that. We'll set that down and let's go ahead and open up. This is a new one. This one is the Secret Base Ultimate Battle. The battle is, is just beginning. And I'm laughing because these things just look so silly. But here's the figures on the box. And if you're wondering where I found this, this is yet again from blindboxes.com. And I ordered most of this stuff on there. Some of the harder to find stuff I get from eBay. 
And here is our little monster figure. Looks kind of like a mean grasshopper or something. <laughs> uh, let's see, does his arms, let's see, can, you can't really, I don't know, can we bend it? No, you can't bend his arms, so he doesn't really want to move. And same thing with his head. And it just says secret base on the back of his little robe. He looks kind of like a ninja grasshopper. He's got that black belt on. That's kind of a neat one. I don't think we're, we're not going to do too many of those, but I thought it'd be fun to show you guys <laughs> at least what was in there. And right here we have Doctor Who. And I've seen a lot of comments lately asking me to do some more of the Doctor Who stuff. And we just keep getting these right here. I mean, I think I've, you know, I actually, in one video, I opened probably five of those in a row and I ended up clipping all that out so you guys didn't even get to see that and I can already tell just from filling this one it's another one of those I have no idea why there is so many of these in this series <laughs> so here's the blue one and it's got these little weapons and a missile and stuff that you can plug in there and they do make different colors of them I mean there's red orange yellow this one of course is blue right here in the corner there's a white one but I, I don't know, they, these just aren't that interesting to me, but since we got this, I'm gonna open up one more Doctor Who and hopefully we'll get an actual figure, a character from the series. So here we go, try number two, and this box actually feels lighter, so I'm thinking that it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gotta be something other than one of those big bricky block things that I keep showing you guys, but yeah, this one's definitely a figure. And we got the Doctor. So here's Doctor Who with his little wand or rod or cane or whatever. <laughs> some of you guys get so bad because I don't know what some of this stuff is because I've, I've never seen the show. Um, and I do read the comments every week and you guys tell me, but sometimes I just forget. And I can't remember if we've gotten this one in the past or not. I know we got one of the Doctors from this and he does not want to grab this. <laughs> There we go. We'll just we'll make him hold it like that. So this is going to be the 11th Doctor, I believe. Actually, he's got a pink shirt on right there. I don't know. It's a pink shirt right here, so I don't know if that's him or not because he's got a blue shirt on. But uh, <laughs> if it is this one, he's a 3 and 40, unless it's the rare one, the 1 and 40 right next to him. Not sure which one it is. I, I really don't see any difference between what I got here and what's right here other than the blue shirt. So... Maybe one of you guys can tell me if that is the rare one or if they just got the color wrong on the box. Next up, let's go ahead and this is going to be the Ninja Town Micro Plush. Now this is series number two and these are cute little ninjas. So we're going to, we're going to get a ninja out of here, I hope. Let's see what we get. And for this one, it definitely feels like a little pillow. And we got the Red Ninja. So that's exciting. So this is going to be the Lava Ninja, the 2 and 20. And you can hang these, so you can hang them from like a car mirror or wherever else you want to put a little ninja. He almost looks kind of like a little Santa Claus ninja. And let's see what else, there's some other stuff in here. What do we got? Let's see, this is going to be, I guess this is just going to show some of the other figures. And you get like this cool little poster that can go on your wall if you just want some ninjas everywhere. But here's the, uh, here's the lava ninja. And the description for this one says, as you might expect, the Lava Ninja spends a lot of time inside Mount Feroshi perfecting his wicked fire attacks and baking. So there's, there's the general description of our fire Lava Ninja here. Let's go ahead and keep going. Some of you guys are probably getting tired of hearing me say Ninja. So this is going to be the Vinylmation Nursery Rhymes. We've also gotten some pretty cool stuff out of this one. That twinkle twinkle star right there, little star, that one's going to be one of my favorite Vinylmations that I've ever opened. I think I've said that a few times now, but we'll just keep saying it. <laughs> so, let's see, what do we got? So for this one, oh no, we got the, uh, there was an old woman, woman who lived in a shoe. And we got this one last week. So what I'm going to do for you guys is we're going to open another one of these. So here we go with try number two, and that's the fun thing about buying the cases instead of just buying one or two boxes. If we get one that we've already gotten, or if I'm not really that happy with it, we can just keep opening more. So we did get a new one. This one's gonna be Little Miss Muffet. Wow, that's a nursery rhyme that I am not familiar with. I've heard every nursery rhyme that we've gotten so far, except for this one. 
So that's going to be a new one to me. But that's a really cool looking Vinylmation. It's got like a little spider up there creeping around. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So we'll set that down and let's open up another BFFS. And you guys just keep requesting these. <laughs> even though I did an entire video and I've also opened up even more in just you know previous egg videos but you guys still want to see them so we'll keep doing them until you guys absolutely get tired of them and for this one we got the little cup of coffee and the donut so here are the two and then here's the card a match made in bakery heaven we got joe and mr dunatsu and i'll get this put together real quick so here's our police officer special, the cup of coffee and the donut. And actually, I don't drink coffee. I've never even tasted it. And I try not to eat too many donuts because they do, uh, they're do they pretty high in calories. It's not too good for you, but let's keep going. We have a new one here. This one, I don't even know if I can pronounce this one correctly. GB Butts? I, I don't know. These are uh, little wooden collectibles there's 12 and then it says there's two unknowns so i guess there's two mystery figures and these are the ones that you can collect yet again this came from blindboxes.com and this is one of those kind of weird kooky blind boxes that i just <laughs> i just wanted to see what they look like so here is our little wooden figure and she's got like little flowers all over it and you can't turn it so you know it, it's kind of top heavy too and this was made in China and it says 2009. So these are several years old, but still kind of an interesting blind box. That's a neat one. We're not gonna do a lot of those. I just kind of wanted to see what they look like. And then right here we have the Little Mermaid and I'm telling you, Ariel has got to come out of this box. She has to come out of here because we've opened like 70% or more of all the blind boxes from this case and we haven't gotten one of her and we're st you know what we're going to open another one we are going to do a second one because we got we got Max which uh, he's right there and we are going to open another one all right here we go let's keep our fingers crossed I'm going to do my little Disney vinylmation wiggle magic here and <laughs> This, this feels like Ariel. This feels like an Ariel. It's got the correct weight. And of course, I'm just kidding because they all weigh the same. But this, seriously, this has got to be, this has got to be Ariel. And it is not. So we got Sebastian. So <laughs> this is a new one, I think. I don't think we've gotten him. So this was one of the other ones that we haven't gotten so far. We got all the ones on this bottom row now. We've gotten this one, we've gotten Flounder, we've gotten the Prince, we've gotten Ursula. I can't remember if we got the King or not, but you know, we, we, we have gotten all of them except for Ariel almost. We'll set him down and let's open up a Whiskers and Tails. And we did get, we finally got Bolt. Bolt did finally come out of this one, so we're doing pretty good for this series. And it looks like we got the cat. So this has got to be the little weird faced cat. And you guys told me which movie this one was from and I can't remember now, but there he is. Kind of a simple little vinylmation. We have gotten that one in the past, but we're just gonna keep going because we've, I think we've gotten most of the figures. We're still missing maybe one or two. But this is gonna be the Miss Cupcake right here. We've gotten the Strawbers and the Mint Olive Chip so far. So we're still missing these three right here. And of course, I want the blue one. The blue one is the one that I want. And we got the Strawberry one again. So I think, I think I have one more of these. I think I have one left, maybe two more left. I'm not sure, but we're gonna open one more. We're gonna try for the blue one one more time. All right, so here we go. And I, I'm almost just, you know, I, <laughs> at this point, I feel like it's gonna be either the strawberry or the green one because we've gotten so many, oh man, I tell you, today has just not been our day for opening the blind boxes. So we got two in a row. There's two strawberries in a row. Now this one, I'm telling you guys for a hundred percent fact, whatever we get out of here is going to be new. And the reason being is this is the first one that I've opened. So we've never opened one of these. This is going to be the Funko Mystery Minis Pocket Gods. And some of you guys have been requesting this. It hasn't been like a lot of requests, but I have seen a few for it. And if I can get the plastic off, this is actually, uh, that's one of the best sealed Funko boxes I've seen. The uh, plastic was all the way around it. 
and it feels like a little one and here he is this would actually go really well with our little chaos bunny the little hula chaos bunny they got the same colors and everything so there's our little guy he's got a bone in his hair too it's kind of like a little caveman type hula dancer now let's go ahead and let's start opening up these play-doh eggs and this one is just kind of like a bright yellow sunshiny happy <laughs> play-doh egg and let's get this thing opened up and we have a new one this is going to be let me try to pronounce this. I'm going to give it my best shot. The Hirotso Fu Horoscope Edition. So these are little tiny collectibles that are based on the horoscope. And of course, I was born on April 12th, so I'm an Aries. So that would be the one that I would want. But let's see what we get. These are like little itty bitty tiny figures. And we got a green one. And let's see which one is the green one. We got... Well, let's see. There he is. It's a Libra. So I'm going to go ahead and get this taken out so we can check it out. So here's our cute little guy. He almost looks like he's wearing some pajamas or something. He definitely has got the pajama I'm about to go to bed look to him. And it's got these little scales right there. And it says Libra on the back. It's got a star, another star. So that's kind of a neat one. And of course, these are zipper pulls or you can actually put it on a key ring. So either one of those. It's kind of a neat one. Let me know if you guys want to see more of those. If you do, I'll order more. But I think that might be the only one that I have. And right here, we have a Hello Kitty surprise egg. And I don't do a whole lot of Hello Kitty because Brandon and Amy usually do the Hello Kitty stuff. But I saw these and I was like, you know what? I want to do this right here. So we, we got at least one Hello Kitty in an egg video. But this is, gonna, this is actually going to be the trading card fun pack. So it's got some cards in it. But I think it also has this little figure right here or one like it. And it says there's nine items inside of here. So let's check this out. We... We usually don't do cards on the channel, so this is like the first this is the first time I've ever actually opened a card pack. And here is our little Hello Kitty character. It's kind of hard to see which side is her face. <laughs> so let's get this out real quick. So here's our little figure, and there's the face. Okay, I can see it now. When I, when I first was looking at it in the package, I couldn't see, but it's kind of hard to tell. But her eyes are like right here, so she's like a little clear figure. That's pretty cool. I like that one and let's see what else we got in here so we have this a 1970s hello kitty and uh, right here is the 2000s so this is kind of like the evolution of hello kitty here's another 1970s and it says hello kitty was introduced in the united states in 1976 this was also the year that she appeared standing in an upright pose for the first time so there you go for those, for those of you wondering where hello kitty came from here's the 1980s one wow this one's really cool look at that and it, it looks like it's actually a part of some type of puzzle i'm wondering i don't know if do they all have those yeah they don't I guess, I guess this is the only one that has the puzzle piece because it's got the F8 number in the corner there. But that's a really nice card. I like that one. And then right here we have another. This is another 1980s. And it says, I guess it's kind of like a trivia, like the red rose. It says, in 1987, Hello Kitty is released, drawn in what colors to attract a more adult following? So this is kind of like a question and answer card. There's another 1970s. This one's actually a sticker. Those are stickers right there. Here's some more stickers. And then you have a checklist book. So here's actually, there's the puzzle pieces that are all put together. So that's kind of neat. And those are, I guess, some of the cards that you can get. So that's kind of cool. That was actually a really cool card pack. That was one of the more nicer card packs that I've seen. But let's go ahead and we're going to keep moving. Here's the next Play-Doh egg. And inside of this one, we have a Tokidoki Phone Z's, I think is what it's called. Phone Z E S, Phones is something like that. And inside, this should be another like zipper pull type phone type deal. We have, oh wow, we got one of my favorite unicornos. So this is actually the little piece that plugs into your phone to keep the dust and the dirt from getting in there. So that's kind of a neat one. That's really cool, actually. So there you go. If you have a cell phone and you want to keep dirt out of it, you can buy one of these. So next up, we have the DCTC egg. Here's our DCTC logo. And let's get the Play-Doh off of here. And inside, we have two things. 
We have the Adventure Time dog tags, which you guys have been requesting these an awful lot. We also have the Sonic Boom dog tags. Let's go ahead and get the Adventure Time one opened up first. And I just ripped right into something in there. <laughs> so there was, there was a little piece of paper. Luckily, that's nothing that needs to be kept. So here's our little dog tag. And then on the back, we have Mr. Cupcake number 18. So this is number 18, the cupcake from Adventure Time. And for our second dog tag, we have the Sonic Boom. And this is gonna be one dog tag and one sticker. And they put the tear strip actually on the left side of the package for, I guess, left-handers. <laughs> so it makes it a little bit harder to open for me, but let's go ahead and get this taken out. And let's see, what did we get? So here she is, and you know, I was trying to remember what her name is. I mean, right there's my favorite with Tails. There's Knuckles, there's Sonic, there's Dr. Is it Egghead or something like that. And then the other two right here, I can't remember what their names are. So you guys are gonna have to comment and tell me because I can't remember what her name is. But that's a, that's a decent looking dog tag. It's 17 of 24. We're gonna set that down, and you also get this as well. So you get this little card or sticker. I can't tell if it's a sticker or not, but it says four of 24 right there. And then here's gonna be some of the other dog tags that you can get. There's an awful lot in there. And then for our final egg, we have the Mickey Mouse eggs. <laughs> Let's get the Play-Doh off. And for this one, for our final one in the video, we have the Disney key rings. Now, we're still missing Jasmine and Aurora. And I wanna say one other one. I don't, I don't think we got Cinderella. So those are gonna be the ones that we're missing. And now that I've picked it up off the floor after dropping it, we got Jasmine. So here's our Jasmine. So we at least, at least we finished the video with a good one. We got a new one for once. So that worked out well. We kind of had a bumpy road at this one, but you know, that's kind of what happens when you do blind boxes every week. It doesn't always work out as planned, but I still hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to press the like button. And if there's a specific blind box or surprise pack that you want to see more of on the channel, just be sure and comment below. This is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.